Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Being in the great outdoors can pose a lot of risk, especially when you're fishing and so close to the water. The marine world is packed full with all sorts of crazy, unexpected creatures that could easily turn a nice day of fishing into a shocking and unforgettable experience. And today, we're going to show you 10 shocking fishing moments caught on camera. Make sure you stick around to the very end to see how ignoring advice and common sense Sewer fishing. How crazy can fishing get? This kid in Caddy, Texas will be able to tell you all about crazy and unusual fishing. The teenager named Kyle Nigeli discovered one of the oddest fishing holes you could ever possibly think of, a sewer. Kyle did his sewer fishing just on the sidewalk near his house. How? 16-year-old Kyle would bait a fishing hook, as you do, and put it through a hole in the manhole cover that covers the storm or sewage drainage, whatever you want to call it. He would attach a cork to the line to prevent the line from falling in. And now, get this, after waiting for a bit, he would actually catch a fish. A rather shocking thing, but thinking about it, it makes a lot of sense. The storm drains in the town emptied into a nearby pond. Often, the fish would swim up the sewer system, which in turn created an unexpected fishing hole. Kyle claimed that he did not eat the fish, but in fact, he just put them back in the water and let them return home. How sweet of Kyle. Number 9 carp attack. A couple of guys went out in the water to catch some fish. Obviously, that's how it's done, so what's so shocking about it? Just hang on. These guys were on the water for quite a bit, and honestly, they got tired of waiting around. Not a single catch for the hours they had been out there in their boat, so they decided they would head back to land. As their engine revved up to life and they started zooming out of the water, something insane happened. It was like, all of a sudden, the fish in the water were intoxicated or something started jumping, literally out of the water, and many of them landed directly in the boat. It was like the fish were doing their work for them by launching themselves into the boat. Imagine the surprise on these guys' faces. Scientists have actually explained this phenomenon. The carps are actually not trying to be aggressive in any way. It turns out that the sound and vibration of the boat engines frighten them so much that they start to jump. It kind of puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Number 8. Lungfish Fishing the African lungfish is one of the most amazing types of fish you could ever possibly encounter. These creatures are amazing because, unlike hundreds of other fish out there, they're amphibious. This means they can survive on land and in water. The kind of climate that South Africa experiences can sometimes get so hot that small water bodies end up drying up. While other fish and the water bodies die out in such conditions, the lungfish have no problem adapting. However, being exposed like that is a doorway for predators and the harsh sun to catch and kill them. A couple of fishermen targeted this dried up water body in hopes of catching some lungfish, but these fish are rather brilliant. They would sink into the mud and bury themselves there with the help of a mucus-like substance that oozes out of their bodies. Since they can breathe just fine, they stay there until the water comes back, feeding on their own muscle tissue for nutrients. They can stay hidden in the mud for up to four years, and these opportunistic fishermen could try to lure them out with bait on a stick shoved into the mud. Most times, they successfully lure out these hiding fish. So, if you ever want to go fishing for these African lungfish, all you might need are a stick and some bait shoved into the mud. Number 7. Piranha Frenzy If you've seen the 2012 horror movie Piranha 3DD, or even the earlier 70s and 80s versions, then you'll know that the word piranha is often associated with death and blood and gore and you get the idea. Although those movies did overdo it with the effects and the whole killer piranha thing, they were not so far off from the truth. This man was fishing in the Amazon River and lowered his live bait into the water. In only a few seconds, a piranha feeding frenzy began. The word frenzy obviously doesn't mean anything good, but with these fish, the word takes on a whole different meaning. These fish have some of the sharpest teeth you can find. It's said that they can strip a whole adult cow in record time. Human flesh is thankfully not their first choice of food, but they do attack anything that drops in their water. They mutilate swimmers, and even when you're in the safety of a boat, yikes, a careless boat passenger can lose a finger to an overexcited piranha. Number 6. Shark Chase Sharks don't always intentionally set out to hunt for humans, but sometimes these ferocious underwater monsters can suddenly get interested. In this footage, this shark was trailing this man's boat for minutes. That, of course, is a scary thing in itself. He tried scaring off the shark by patting on the water with his oar. 
Eventually, the shark got bored or tired of chasing the man's boat, and it turned away. Pretty shocking to see, as it's not typical of their nature to chase a boat like that. That's one lucky man. Number 5. Snakes Got Your Nose In this footage, you can see these two men fishing in the most unusual manner. While one man is simply putting the fish in a bucket, the other one is doing the heavy lifting, or catching, whatever you pick. The man catching the fish is seen dunking his head and hands under the water to find some fish. All of a sudden, the man starts squirming. When he raises his head, there's a long snake latching onto his nose. Yikes! His companion slaps on the snake with a flip-flop and yanks it off his friend's nose, sending the snake slithering back into the water. You might be wondering what kind of person would do this, but in what seems like such a rural area, they might not have any fishing equipment. Number 4. An Unexpected Visitor These two men were out on their boat, trying to enjoy the nice day while fishing. Unfortunately, they soon got an unwanted and unexpected visitor, a great barracuda. If you're wondering why they're running from what seems like a great big catch, then you might not know what this fish is. That is a great barracuda, the giant barracuda, which is also called the great barracuda, is one of the most feared residents in the water. Monster-like teeth and powerful jaws, these fish can be the absolute deadliest. What's even more interesting is that these fish can even be eaten as they are usually very poisonous. All round, accidentally catching a great barracuda is bad, bad business. Usually when you encounter these fish, you might be down a finger or two, and sometimes a whole hand, assuming you live to tell the tale. They rarely attack humans, but are attracted by shiny silvery objects like jewelry. Drawing their attention might lead to them thinking you're great for dinner and you do not want that to happen. Number 3. Clever Bird Birds are a clever, clever lot. Albeit, they might not always rank high on the list of highly intelligent creatures, but this one green heron certainly trumps that stereotype. In this clip, the green heron made a great point for why its kind might be worthy of a high rank on that list. The green heron used a piece of bread as a fishing bait. What? A bird, you say? This remarkable video was captured while the heron plucked small pieces of bread, probably left behind by duck and swan feeders on the shore, and placed them in the water. Small fish would perceive this bread and would rush to the surface to eat it. Then, the green heron would swiftly snatch up the fish. Rather than feed on unsatisfactory bread pieces, this brilliant bird thought its way a much better cuisine. It's probably learned that neat little trick from people who come to the water to catch fish with their fishing rods and lines with bait like bread or maggot. What a really smart bird. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's picture was sent by a curious subscriber who wanted to know the story behind it. If you ever find an interesting picture on the internet and you would want to know the story behind it, make sure to send it over to us. Who knows? Our next video's best pick might be your picture. Number 2. Reloading Shark We all know that one freeloader that swoops right in when you've done all the work and rips you of your fun. For this family that went out for a little fishing fun off the Cape Cod Bay in Massachusetts, an unexpected freeloader scared the bejesus out of all of them. A woman on the boat put her line into the water and started reeling her catch in when she felt the familiar tug. However, as her catch got closer, a gigantic shark leaped straight out of the water and snatched the fish from her line. How shocking was that? Imagine the fear that would seize your heart seeing such a huge shark so close. With that being said, stay careful out there, guys. These freeloaders tend to swoop in to steal your catch when it's very close to the boat. Don't lean out or anything like that. You might make a much tastier meal for these sharks than some fish. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, don't pet the shark. The sea is not a petting zoo. Say it louder for the people in the back. You can't just go around sticking your hand in the water petting things. I can't believe we still have to say this, but apparently not a lot of people know it. About 99.9% .9 of experienced fishermen or sea visitors know that you should never, ever, ever pet a shark. Obviously, this guy was one of the small 0.1% because, as you can see, he literally reached into the water to pet one of the sharks circling his boat, like a cute little puppy. Well, first, the shark is not a puppy, and second, the shark did what sharks do. 
It snapped up at the man's hand with his teeth and almost got his hand. If it had gotten a hold of this silly man's hand, that would have been bye-bye captain because these big boys would have had a field day ripping him apart. Sharks technically do not go around deliberately hunting for humans, but they can be unpredictable. Even when you're in the safety of a boat, just don't pet the sharks.